Generally speaking, 20 years of Ukrainian independence is really a success story. It shows us uh, the country which has strong own identity, uh, important position in the region, and very promising future. But I think the uh, economy in, in, in Ukraine is really market-oriented and is totally different as 20 years ago. And it, it wasn't uh, uh, easy to change the structure from the state-owned economy, uh, very much in Soviet style, to market-oriented economy. But I would like to underline different things. If you compare the quality of Ukrainian democracy to Belarus, which country is better? No question. But go ahead, be more courage. And Russia? In your opinion, which I'm speaking now to our international guests, if you are good observers, you can see immediately that the quality of democratic institutions in Ukraine is much higher, better, and deeper as in Russia. When we speak about uh, freedom of media, when we speak about uh, political pluralism, um, the political parties, uh, when we speak about the elections and the quality of elections, and for me, as a former president, it's very easy to say what is a better uh, democracy or not so good democracy. i tell you a good example. If you don't know who will be the next president of the country, it means that that is a very democratic state. If you see other post-Soviet countries, Ukraine reached really the very good level of uh, quality in uh, democratic institutions. What doesn't mean that the, the, this job, this um, task is finished. No, absolutely not. But is it something what is, is, is necessary to understand and to respect? And so I'm optimistic. I'm sure that uh, Ukraine has uh, uh, fantastic chances for uh, good development. I'm sure that politically uh, in Ukraine we reached uh, now a very promising situation. After five years or turbulences and uh, turmoils, we have uh, stability, political stability. Today, we have working hand in hand, president, prime minister, government, majority in the parliament, and that is finally the good chance to go forward, to decide clearly about the future, about uh, short-term, mid-term, long-term uh, projects.